We're working the latest now on the VA Medical Center scandal. President Obama hasn't spoken publicly about the scandal since April 28th, but that changed this morning following an Oval Office meeting with the head of the Department of Veterans Affairs. Eyewitness News anchor Kelly Sullivan joins us now live from the newsroom with the latest developments. Well, a sense of urgency from President Obama at the White House today after meeting with Veterans Affairs Secretary Eric Shinseki to discuss reports of delayed care at veterans' hospitals. Now, the VA is under fire amid a growing scandal. Allegations surfaced that officials covered up a secret waiting list for veterans in Phoenix, causing deadly delays. Sources inside the VA say at least 40 veterans died while waiting for care. The president says he recognizes the fight to shorten wait times for veterans is an ongoing struggle, but... If there's misconduct at the Veterans Affairs Department, it will be punished. If these allegations prove to be true, it is dishonorable, it is disgraceful, and I will not tolerate it, period. I want to know what's working, I want to know what is not working, and I want specific recommendations on how VA can up their game. President Obama wants a preliminary report by next week and once again expressed confidence in the former Army general leading the VA. The House plans to vote this evening on that bill will, will give the VA secretary more power to fire and demote senior managers. But meanwhile, we've learned Congressman David Cicilline gave Eyewitness News a letter that he sent to the director of the Providence VA. While Congressman Cicilline says he's not aware of any issues at the Providence VA, the letter requests the director to conduct her own evaluation of scheduling and office waitlist procedures to make sure the medical center is meeting crucial benchmarks. And he goes on to say, quote, a careful review of these matters at the Providence VA would provide our community's veterans with confidence that the facility they rely upon can be trusted to provide them with the care they deserve after serving our nation. Now, we have confirmed a VA team from outside New England did extensive interviews with staff last Friday and found no issues with the scheduling of appointments for veterans. Reporting live in the newsroom, Kelly Sullivan, Eyewitness News.